in Paris, in the middle of a giant and busy square, an artist has erected a large inflatable butt plug. <laughs> Why are we talking about this story? Your guess is as good as mine. <laughs> I think I just did this story because I want to say the word butt plug on air. Mission accomplished. So uh, they actually say it's not really a butt plug. Or I don't know if they're like trolling about this, but they say it's supposed to be tr a tree or a tree-like thing. Okay, and can I uh, mention something fairly embarrassing? I didn't know what a butt plug looked like. You know, I, I just didn't. And then I saw this story. They said that's a butt plug. I'm like, that's the shape of a butt plug? Oh. I could could have fooled me. You know what I thought of when I heard butt plug? I guess anal beads. How is that a thing, by the way? Can we talk about that for a second? <laughs> anal beads. I mean, hey, whatever you're into, man, that's fine. You guys do whatever the hell you want to do. But I just thought, I'd... why beads? It just seems like a random, like, why? I don't, I don't get it. But anyway, so I didn't know what a butt plug looked like. This story showed me. I'm 26 years old. I don't know what a butt plug looks like. I don't know if that's good, bad... It's just, I guess it's just weird. But uh, a far right wing party in France is actually legitimately really angry about this. They're named the French Spring. They're flipping out. So how would we feel? This is why, this is why I wanted to talk about this. Let's get serious for a second. How would uh, we feel if this happened in the U.S.? If this was, you know, put up in Cleveland? <laughs> I don't know. I just picked a random place. Um, I don't know, man. I, I'm, I don't give a shit, but then again, I'm 26 years old. I'm, I'm single and, you know, the internet exists and I've had my fun in my life, sexually speaking. So, uh, I, but I don't know. Would you feel weird with a kid around? Actually, you know what? I just swung myself on air. I'm fine with it. Allow the giant butt plug. It's cool. <laughs> because if I didn't know what a butt plug was, there's no way seven year old Timmy knows what it is. What, you think four-year-old Rebecca is going to say, Daddy, look at the butt plug. No, they're going to, they'll think it's a tree. And it's supposed to be a tree. Okay, so I, I'm fine with it. That's the thing, like, whenever it comes to conversations about what is okay publicly versus what what is not okay publicly, honestly, I, I think the line is pretty far on the side of allow most stuff. Okay, like the Pornhub billboard story that we did the other day. How they took down this Pornhub billboard in Times Square. And all it said was Pornhub, and it had a picture of hands, and it said something on it. Just making a heart or whatever. Okay. There, there was no nudity on it. It wasn't over the top. So even that, it's fine. What, it says the word porn, so we can't, it can't be up? But it did, there's no nudity. See, I, I think that's where the line is. The line is anything where if it happens in real life there's a crime. <laughs> so if there's, like, somebody butt-ass naked on a billboard, people fucking on a billboard or something, somebody getting blown, yeah, that's, you can't allow that because you don't want kids to see that. That's, uh, they'll, it's just, it's kind of like an imposition on them, and it's in a weird kind of sex crime. Like, it's like if somebody had sex in person in front of kids. Like, no, that's, should be a crime. That's not okay, right? But other than that, yeah, put up, you could put up that Pornhub billboard, you could put up giant butt plugs that, Apparently, I don't don't even look like butt plugs because I don't know what a butt plug looks like. You could get away with as much as you can possibly get away with, uh, and we only draw the line at the most extreme examples because you know what it is. I hate the idea that we have to totally sanitize society so that you know kids don't ever have to question anything, and that like I don't want to live in 1950s Leave It to Beaver style. Okay, that's not how I want to live because. Adults exist, and there are certain things that adults like that kids can't like yet and don't like yet. But that doesn't mean that we censor everything that the adults would like because kids exist. No, you should have a society that allows adults to do whatever they want to do as long as they're not hurting anybody else with, else with just minor rules that don't allow the most extreme circumstances to basically rub it in your kid's face. No pun intended. 